Hi, I'm Sarah and welcome to Rich Textures Crochet on YouTube. Let's crochet something beautiful today. Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the herringbone double crochet stitch. And that's the stitch that you see here in front of you and it has it's created almost, um, I like to think of it as a marbled kind of look. Um, so it's a different way of doing your half double, cro or your full double crochet stitch. It um, It's a little bit more dense than a straight up uh, double crochet stitch and also the stitches kind of work on a diagonal um, and uh, it just creates a very pretty design. It looks the same on the front as it does on the back so this is a great stitch for a reversible project if you're looking for one. While you're here please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel I like to update it weekly with free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials such as the one that you're going to see today. So let's grab some yarn and a hook and let's crochet together. Okay, so for, for our stitch today, the herringbone double crochet stitch, uh, we are going to start by making a foundation chain. And for this stitch, your foundation chain can be a multiple uh, or a multiple of uh, any number of stitches, so there's no specific multiple. All you need to remember to do for your foundation chain is to add two extra chains for your start. But other than that, you can work this stitch uh, with any multiple of chains. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make our slip stitch, our slip knot. And today for this tutorial, I'm going to start by chaining a total of 17 just to uh, give you a, enough to look at uh, so you can see how this stitch goes together. There's 5, 6, 7, 10, 15, so plus 2 more for my foundation chain, a total of 17 stitches. Now what we're going to do is we're going to jump right into the herringbone stitch. The first thing we're going to do though is we're going to skip the first three stitches. So there's one, two, three, the first three chains. We're going to be working into this fourth chain from our hooks. And uh, you'll re have to remember for this stitch pattern that chain three at the beginning always counts as a stitch. So you're always going to work into the top of it uh, and treat it as such. So for the first thing you're going to do for your herringbone stitch, you're going to yarn over. You're going to insert your hook into that fourth chain. And you're going to yarn over once again. You're going to pull your loop through the chain and then also through the first loop on your hook. You'll have two loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over. You're going to pull through one loop only. You still have two loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over and you're going to pull through those final two loops. So if you're used to making regular double crochet stitches, this just adds one more step to that stitch. I'm going to show it to you uh, again. Yarn over, into the next chain, insert your hook, yarn over, and you're going to draw up a loop. You're then going to draw that same loop through the first loop on your hook. You'll have two loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over, draw your yarn through one loop on your hook, still two loops on your hook, yarn over and draw through those remaining two loops. Move on to the next stitch, yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop. You're going to draw that same loop through the first loop on your hook, Yarn over, draw through one loop, yarn over, and draw through two loops on your hook. You're going to continue that all the way across your chain. Okay. 
I am now just working my final stitch in that row one and then this is what you should have when you finish. Next you're going to chain three. Remember your chain three always counts as a stitch and you're going to turn your work. Because your chain three counts as a stitch you're going to skip that first stitch. You're going to start working your herringbone stitch into the next one. So yarn over, insert your hook through the next stitch, yarn over and drop a loop. Draw that same loop through the first on your hook, yarn over, drop a loop through the first loop on your hook, yarn over and pull through two loops. Then you can continue on down the row. When you come to that final chain three on this row two, remember to work in it. So into the top of that chain three, into that third chain, uh, work your final herringbone stitch. It's important that you always remember to uh, work into that chain three. If you do not, uh, then your work will end up with uneven edges. All right. So then once you come to the end, you've worked in the top of that chain three, then chain three, turn your work, and you're once again ready to start the next row. And that's all there is to working the herringbone double crochet stitch. Thank you so much for joining me today. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And until next time, happy crocheting. Bye.